All right, guys, so as we saw in my previous video, I had um, done a Dutch pour uh, style Christmas tree, and now we're gonna make some ornaments. So I'm hoping this would work. Um, I have various colors and I've got some oranges, greens, a lavender, an aqua color, as well as gold. And we're gonna give a try to tiny little ring pours. So hopefully uh, this works out okay. I've got my white as well. And so what I'm gonna be doing is actually pouring them on my Lolly uh pouring mat. Um, this has been well used and it took a while for me to clean off because it had been a while since I used it. But um, this is gonna make it really easy to get the little bits of paint off so that I can take the dried paint pieces and transfer them onto uh, the Christmas tree. So let's uh, see what we can do. So I stopped the camera for a minute. And um, the reason why is I had just realized I did not have a hard surface that I can transport. Um, if I'm going to pour on here, I can't leave it on my counter for the next 24 hours. So I wanted to put a cutting board underneath so that it'll be easily transported into um, the other room and put on a table so that um, that way they're, they're easy, they won't, I don't know, they won't change shape per se. So let's get back to what we were doing. Now I was really trying to figure out how I would um, make the ornaments and I could have just done puddles and I sh I will do some of that as well. Uh, but the key portion of this is that we, I was gonna try and do um, really tiny ring pours. Uh, Rinska had mentioned to see if we can do that or do balloon kisses on the painting. And But I was worried that it would uh, muddy up the painting or the Christmas tree already. So I'm gonna wait until the Christmas tree dries and now we're gonna do these ornaments. And I was trying to find something that would work and actually looking into my cabinet, I have this little itty bitty vase or pitcher, pitcher actually. Um, so I'm gonna be using that. And um, let's see, I mean, it's really small and I should totally find a quarter to put it next to. Okay, so I have a quarter here um, and it's about the size of a little quarter. I mean, the base, so we'll see. I don't think I want my ornaments as large as that, but we will, um, we will check that before we start pouring. All right. Now here, I wanna make about 20 of them. And the easy ones are gonna be just the solid colored ones. But let's start by um, working with a ring pour one. And then I'll bring you guys in when I pour it, I think. So I'm just gonna drop some white in there. And some gold. And maybe some aqua. And I think that's all we're gonna do. You can barely even see it in there. But let's start right here. Just gotta get it out of there. I think that's sort of cool. And we're gonna use those colors again, but this time I'm gonna start with gold. And then of course I'll have to rinse this out. And let's do 
just the blue. And it's layering like a layered cup. There seems to be a lot of white in there still. And we're going to come in with some red on top of that gold. And maybe some orange also. And that's really about it. We're not going to get too crazy. These are going to be so awesome. Let me come in a bit so that you guys can see the next one. Maybe a little bit closer. We'll set it up right next to there. All right. I love this. So let's do a dollop of gold. And some of the cobalt blue. I think this is the ultramarine. I'm not sure. <clears throat> and a little bit of the aqua. I'm just going to pour out. They're so cute. Maybe bring you guys in a little bit closer. Maybe a little bit of orange, mix it up a little bit. We'll see how it comes out. And finally some gold. And we'll do some of this red. So let's see what comes of it. I love it. So we're just going to continue making these and we'll see how they turn out and dry. And if they turn out good, we're definitely going to add them to the tree and add some garland also in the next video. So we're really going to dress this tree up and see how we do. Thanks for joining me today, guys. I hope you have a great day.
Okay, here are my ornaments. I made more than I would probably need just so I had a nice selection. But we've got various colors and designs. And I love this one because it's sort of like a little mini ring wing pour of some sort. Yeah, who knows? Little designs here. And then I have my star. So we shall see how uh, these dry and I don't think they'll be a problem and as soon as they're dry we'll bring you back and we will put them on the Christmas tree. Bye! Okay so my ornaments have dried beautifully. There's a star up there and I'm gonna be able to peel these right off of the mat. For example, where's my hand? There it is. So we have this one, and let's see. There we go. So we are going to take these off and put them on the tree, which has dried beautifully. And I love the um, pearl iridescent pearl uh, by Goldens, and you can see the metallic sheen in areas on this painting. And I think it came out really, really cool. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these ornaments and we're gonna put them right up there. Sorry for making you dizzy folks and go from there. So when I do my Christmas tree, I always put my ornaments on first and then after that we'll do some garland. Um, so I'm looking forward to showing you guys that part also. I'm gonna grab my glue or actually maybe just a little bit of paint to get it to um, adhere onto the Christmas tree and we'll go from there. So some of these are actually um, a little sticky on the back so I'm gonna be able to hang them directly and just push them down um, and go from there and grab my scissors as I hoop and just cut that end off. There we go. Let's see if it's gonna stay. Yeah gonna stay all right so there is one and then we're just gonna take some other ones here yep and that one's sticky also and maybe we'll put that right there and just press down firmly and because they are still sticky a little bit on the back side, that means that they're not fully dry and cured yet on the back. So uh, that works out great when putting them onto the tree. This one is and a bit dry, not as sticky as the other ones. And this is just a metallic copper and I have actually a little bit of glue in here and I'm going to use my brush and brush it on the back side. And maybe put it right there. And now we're going to work out the star here. I'm definitely going to have to cut it. As I think it's too big. 
No, maybe not. I'm gonna trim it just a little bit to make the edges nice and straight. So here is my star, which I think would look really pretty right there. So I'm gonna put a little bit of um, glue on it as um, it's not as sticky as some of the bulbs. So I'm just a light coating of some Elmer's glue here, the glue wall. I found some. <gasps> ah. All right. this right here and curl it. There we go. So I want that to be my top. Yes, I want it that way. Yay! It's happy up at the top there. I'm super excited. Okay, so I'm gonna clean up here. I didn't use all of the ornaments. We'll be back in just a minute. We'll show some of the leafing process. Here we are. We've got the ornaments on there. Some that are different sizes compared to others. And we are going to now go in with some of PBO's Mirror Effects Leaf, and uh, we'll see some of that process, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, so I am using a PBO Deco Gilding Paste Mixation. It is liquid-based, and my gilding papers, my, mil my Mirror Effects Gilding Paper, um, looks as such nice beautiful gold foil and what I'm gonna do is what you're supposed to do is brush on the mixation with a brush and then you wait about 15 minutes and then come in and do the pasting after that um, the the mixation will be uh, sticky to the touch. We're just going to come across the whole tree. And down into here. And it gives like the prettiest sheen. So we're going to come back down to here. And I think it's going to add just that extra little shimmer to this piece. Okay, so let's get a move in here. Now we're gonna just set it down like this. And where I did the mixation, it will show up when I press down. And then I'm gonna peel it up. And you just sort of gently rub the top there. So I'm not sure if you guys can see that, but in just a moment, I will show you. I can tell that you cannot. 
Um, but trust me, there's something there. Uh, and we'll just get in here as much as we can. I'm so excited for you guys to be able to see this. So I don't know if you can, I don't think at that angle you can see anything, but I will bring you guys over here and maybe you can see it from this angle. So there we go. So that's what I'm doing. It's not, 100% visible, but when I hold the piece up, you'll be able to see it and uh, we'll go from there. So I'm going to continue on all the way down the rest of this. And when I come back, you're going to see the final piece. All right. So here is the final piece. Uh, you just can't get the garland and whatnot on camera, but it is all there. Maybe I'll draw in a little more with some leafing pens so you can see it. I actually put a little on some of the ornaments also. So maybe we can, there we go. There's a little bit of a reflection. I'm just super pleased with this piece. Um, ah, there we go. It was so much fun something totally different. I wish I could focus. I think it'll be a great piece to um, resin. So we will be doing that. And all the neat little ornaments and the pretty sparkly star, which of course, there we are. All right, guys, so that is it for now. Thanks so much for joining me on this little journey of creating a beautiful, Tanamam. <laughs>